Okay, g'day all. Uh, it's been a while. Welcome to another toot. So, uh, I thought I'd do something completely different. I've got myself a new screen recorder, for a start. Um, I've upgraded to Windows 8.1. Everything's going pretty smoothly so far. Uh, but I thought I might try out doing daily toot, so this is going to be pretty cool. Um, I'm going to do, on Sundays, we'll do X64 ASM, so that's today. That's what we'll have a look at today. Uh, Mondays we'll carry on with the C++, probably move on to something a little bit more advanced than uh, what we have been doing. Uh, Tuesdays I want to have a look at Linux, that's the um, assembly toots that I started in Linux and largely forgot, sorry about that. <laughs> um, Wednesdays is going to be really exciting, I'm going to start doing DirectX uh, graphics and game programming. Um, it's a really interesting topic, it's also absolutely gigantic, so uh, hopefully that uh, series will go places. Uh, Thursday we'll look at some bit hacks, tricks and puzzles. That's just going to be a fun day. Uh, Fridays we'll have a look at algorithms, data structures and just mathematics in general. Uh, I love that sort of stuff. And uh, Saturdays we'll have a look at CUDA. Now there's another couple of things that I want to look at as well. I don't know when I'll fit them in, but uh, I want to do a series on debugging as well. I get a lot of um, questions which largely come down to people um, not really knowing how to debug. So I want to yeah, hopefully do some shoots on that. I don't know when, but we'll see. Um, so that's my plan. Uh, <laughs> I'm notorious for, uh, you know, saying one thing and doing another, so we'll see how it goes. But, um, yeah, hopefully it'll at least last for a little while. Uh, if you want to encourage me, I think probably the best thing you could do is leave a comment uh, or give us a thumbs up or a sub. Um, yeah, I love that sort of thing. Anyway, so this is going to be an exciting new time. Let's have a look at what we're doing. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the X64 box blur for um, assembly. So we started a box blur. We wrote it out in C++. You won't have that line in yours um, if you're following the shoot, but yeah, the rest of it should make a bit of sense. So today I want to start coding the assembly version of it uh, or porting it to assembly. So the first thing that I want to do is get out of this project that we were making. So we were making a DLL and uh, it had CLR runtime and all sorts of other horrible Windows stuff in it. All of this Windows coding, it's just, you know, it's awful. I don't want to have to look at that. What I want to do is make another uh, console application um, so that we can debug easier. You know, I want to step through the code and all that sort of thing. So um, what I'm going to do is make a brand new empty project. I'll call it uh, box blur debug and we'll just make a console application because then we can use your C outs and that sort of thing and um, once we've made our assembly algorithm exactly as we want um, I can copy the code from this debugging version back into the uh, actual DLL and um, yeah hopefully it'll be a lot easier to uh, write all right but I'll just add a main to this and we'll go using IO stream or whatever it is that's the one, using namespace, std. And today I thought what we might do is, you don't have to put a semicolon there. Um, we might just have a look at calling um, the assembly procedure. So from our um, box blur form here in our actual DLL, what we're going to do is, um, down here, when the user scrolls the track bar, um, we're not going to do the uh, box blur with C++. Eventually, we're just going to call an assembly algorithm. Uh, so that's what we're going to start writing today. But um, for the time being, we'll just uh, figure out how to call the function. Since it's a little bit tricky, it's got six parameters. Um, all right, I might just change over to 64 bits. OK, and close. And I might also do the build customization, add some mass and action. Um, okay, so I do want to say that what you could do is, um, with the DLL that we were working on, you could just switch that back to EXE and add a main um, you know, method for that. And uh, that might work, but I found that it wasn't, it wasn't letting me step through the assembly code properly. Um, it might have something to do with the CLR, I mean, I don't know. And uh, I don't really care, to be honest. Um, so what we're going to do is make this uh, separate um, console application. Um, okay, so what we got is, um, yeah, just a blank console application. I'll add a file, I'll call it asm.asm. Okay, so far so good. That's going to have a dot .code and it's going to have um, box blur asm. That's a proc, it's going to ret at some point, and box blur asm, uh, end p and end down the bottom. Okay, so this is going to be the function that we call. 
Uh, let's have a look at the stuff that we're going to need. Um, this is just how I like to do things. If I'm porting from C++ to assembly, um, I'll often set up a separate project just for you know debugging and stuff. So I'll copy all of these values here from our DLL because we're going to need those in our um, console application as well. Um, okay, and I might make um, width equals, I don't know, 800 will do. Height equals 640, is that one? 800 by 640, I think that's one. Um, and original image, H blur, and front image are all going to be floating point arrays, which are four times the product of the width and the height. So, um, I'll just go, this equals new, uh, float, uh, four times this times this. Uh, four times that, because we've got red, green, blue, and alpha channels in these um, images. Um, I don't know how much sense this uh, chute is going to make today. Like My methodology for going through this in this rather backwards way might seem a little strange, but I tell you, there's nothing worse than um, you know, trying to debug assembly language and not being able to step through the code. Okay, so what, what we want to do is we want to make our C++ version of the box blur. We'll stick it up the top here above main. We want to call that and time it and see what outputs it gives us. And we also want to make an assembly version and call that and see if it's any faster and also um, match the outputs. Make sure that they're both, ma uh, that they're both outputting the same thing. Um, we know that the C++ algorithm is correct, so what we want to do is um, yeah, match our assembly against that as we go. Um, okay, that's good. Now, I actually uh, cheated a little bit and uh, went ahead. Sorry about that. <laughs> and uh, this is the prototype for the function that we're going to make. So, box blur assum, and it takes six parameters, height, width, uh, original image is a floating point star, uh, floating point pointer. Uh, front image, H blur, and blur width. Now it it takes six parameters, so that means that we're not going to be able to pass all of them um, by registers. Um, C++ is actually going to pass these last two here on the stack. So that's kind of what I wanted to illustrate today, exactly what that means for us um, from here, the assembly side of things. Um, Alright, so the first thing I'll do is just copy that prototype over to assembly so that we've got a bit of an idea of what we're doing. Okay, we don't need extern C there anymore. Um, okay, so that's just the that's just the prototype. If I just mark on these um, on this prototype where they're going to be passed uh, in terms of registers and the stack. Um, those are all comments as well. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Settle down. That's better. Um, okay, so height is actually uh, going to be passed in RCX. That's going to be an int in uh, or EAX more than more than RCX, but um, that's the first parameter. So that's always passed in RCX. The next is going to be passed in RDX. That's going to be the width of the image. Um, the first floating point star to our our pixel data is going to be passed in R8. Um, the next will be passed in R9. And then things get a little interesting. So these two here aren't passed by registers, they're passed on the stack. And we might want to make sure that we don't uh, mess with the callers RBP or RSP. You know, they're not scratched, the um, base pointer and the stack pointer. So um, I'm actually going to save the um, RBP to the uh, stack, just with a push there. And mov RBP RSP. Uh, just so that we've got um, yeah, the use of the uh, stack pointer and the base pointer, and we've uh, made sure that we've saved the caller's base pointer. Uh, I don't know that we'll need to do that. Uh, I've not actually gone ahead far enough to finish writing out this uh, box blur ASM, but we will. We'll get there, and uh, we'll find out sooner or later if we need to do that. Uh, anyway, then we want to mov RSP our BP, so restore the um, stack pointer to what it was, and pop RBP. Um, okay, but on to these last two parameters. So H blur is a 64-bit pointer. We're in 64-bit mode, so all pointers are, you know, flat 
memory addresses, and uh, that's just going to be a 64-bit number, and that's going to be passed to us in um, RBP plus 48. Yeah, RBP plus 48. So maybe I'll just make a note in here. Or I might save it in the data. Um, 8 blur DQ. I don't care what it's set to. Uh, but mov um, 8 blur um, RBP plus 48. Okay, so that's going to make that uh, 8 blur just there. That's a Q word. Pointer, it's a floating point pointer more than anything. Um, that's just going to point it to whatever this fifth parameter here was. So that's RBP plus 48. And the sixth parameter, uh, which I might call blur width, is a D word. Uh, that's this one here, this int down here. Um, that's going to be RBP plus uh, 56. Yeah, so if we had more parameters, you just keep adding 8 to this value here. So the next would be at, what, 64, then after that we'd have 72. Yeah, you can just keep adding 8 to that if you've got more than your 6 parameters. Um, okay, so we might actually call this function and see if we get the correct uh, blur width. Uh, fingers crossed. And then we'll call it a day, then we'll call it a day. Okay, so box blur awesome. And all we're trying to do here is pass the parameters. Um, so the first one is height, the next one is width, uh, the next one is original image, then front image. Jeez, it's complicated, isn't it? Uh, H blur, that's the one, and blur width. Uh, for the blur width, we might just say that it's 10. Yeah, so this final parameter here, this blur width, is what the um, user is actually setting with the scroller. Yeah, the slider looking thing. Okay, I'll save that and I'll set a breakpoint right about hither. And we'll see if it gets 10 as the blur width. And if it doesn't, then we've done something very wrong. Invalid instruction operands. We've definitely done something <laughs> very wrong. Okay, so we've got to move from um, memory to a register. Yeah, you can't have um, memory for both operands. So H blur is a memory operand, and so is that. Uh, that's what it's complaining about. So I'll move it to RAX first, and from RAX into H blur, and we'll do the same down here, uh, except EAX. I might make this Q word PTR. Oops, and this is a D word PTR. And this is the address right here. Okay, I think we'll actually save the rest of these to our data segment as well, just because I don't really like using, you know, RCX as the height all the time and RDX as the width all the time. I like to sort of make variables in the data segment just to um, make the code a bit easier to read. Uh, anyway, we'll give it another shot, see if we've still got those uh, problems. We want to get um, a blur width of 10 read into that blur width variable. Let's see how we go. Well, I'll add a watch. Okay, so blur width starts out as 0, which is pretty good since we said uh, question mark <laughs> but uh, let's scroll through F. ah there we go um, okay so that's all that I wanted to go through today all we've done is called our blur with asm function from a brand new um, main method yeah uh, I hope that was interesting next time next week uh, we'll get on to um, actually programming probably the horizontal blur first in assembly um, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty hairy, but uh, we'll get through it. Anyway, cheers all. These are a bunch of legends. Have a good one. How do I turn this thing off?